I live in the forest, okay? I live quite an unusual, not ordinary lifestyle. A typical day for me is wake up, put the kettle on, get the fire on, take the dog out for a walk, and just breathe life like real deep into your lungs. Like, I'm a big fan of starting the day like that. We've created a really unique world down here, full of colour, full of life, full of creativity, and we just, we like doing it a bit different and we like doing our own thing, and it's become really popular. It's all about teaching people about the outdoors. We have groups come down here and we, we teach them and we inspire them about the outdoors. If we provide value to the world, then that's, that's what's most important to me. The type of lifestyle that I lead is literally very hands-on. You know, whether it's in salt water, whether it's in mud, whether I'm carrying logs, any sort of protection or healing in particular, I get cuts all the time, they get chapped a little bit, and just being able to put like products like the calendula or the propolis on, which give you a bit of protection, stop any kind of bacterial infections. They just work. The organic side of it, it comes from the land and then it returns to the land and there's no damage done whatsoever. That's the whole point of sustainability. You work with the land, you don't just take from the land. It requires the responsibility of us being aware that each of us has that impact and, and that each of us can help in even in just some little way. I think we're, we're going to very shortly hit a time when it won't be a luxury, it'll be a necessity. We will have to design businesses with sustainability um, in mind. Five years ago I was diagnosed with cancer. When you go through an experience like that, you see through the mundane of the day-to-day -day life. I've been through some of the darkest times of my life doing that. And then I had to ask that question, which was a lifestyle question. It took me about 10 years to realize that I used to absolutely leap out of bed on a Sunday morning. And I just thought, why am I spending six sevenths of my life kind of not really liking it so that I can have one day? And that was really the catalyst that made me shift towards starting a business, walking a new path, taking responsibility for myself, and just doing what I love. Inside each of us, there's something that interests us, that sparks a sense of imagination, some fascination, some interest. What's your seventh rise? What makes you leap out of bed? When we start to explore and kind of respect that, life can become really interesting.